Welcome to the channel. This is Reliable Rudy. Today, we're going to go over how I take my evaluation from everything money and match that over to the chart. We're also going to go over how I use some of my indicators and we're going to try and break this down as slow as possible. And uh, it might take a few videos to get my overall mes message over, but we're going to try and take it slow and this video might be a little bit longer, uh, but I think it's going to be good information, but first and foremost, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. Everything in this video contains merely my opinion, and it's for entertainment purposes only. So going back over briefly to my everything money process. So let's say Apple's at 120. First thing I'm going to want to do, right, I'm going to get notified. The first thing I'm going to want to do, reevaluate the company, determine if I want to buy Apple. Let's say I want to buy it, I'll buy a tracker share in it, one single share. Now, the purpose of having these three areas right here is, let's say Apple is trading at 60 bucks. I want my position size to be roughly around 3 to 5%. So I have to determine how I'm going to build my position throughout this whole buying area right here. So, I had mentioned that I want majority of my money tied into broadly diversified index funds. And then you're going to sprinkle into individual companies that you like the value of. Now, for those companies, I want my position size to be roughly around 3%, but I mean, if we were trading down at 60, am I going to knock you for pushing that up to 5%? No. But the key with position sizing is not to force into a position all at once. Just because Apple's trading at 120, and I'm, and I'm saying, oh, this is where I'm really interested in, I don't want to force into a lot of buying. So buying that tracker share and reevaluating over the course of the next couple weeks and seeing the price action I think is very important and I think it will save you a lot of money because let's say you buy that tracker share and then in a couple of weeks we're trading near 100 flat well I like the valuation at 100 flat a lot better I mean and so forth so there's a lot of value that you can get just by sitting on the sidelines is one way to put it but over the course of this whole trading span I want my position size in Apple to be built up over the course of a long period of time to roughly three maybe up to five percent depending on the scenario but then we're going to take this evaluation and we're going to go to the the apple chart now the charting is going to be a lot of information so i'll try and keep it simple but the first thing i'm going to do with the chart anytime i go into the charting i'm going to switch to a month's chart i want to see the whole economic data on apple stock now i can see that they became public back in 1980 of December. Okay, I can see all the information here on this month chart. Now off of this month chart, I want to set uh, a trend line of the total long-term uh, trend of the company. Now with this trend line, I'm looking to get at least three points of contact and if if you can get more than three, you know that's great. That's just more information, more support built up off of that trend line. So looking at Apple, let's zoom in a little bit. Now I can see this looks like a pretty solid spot. Normally just taking the, the bottoms is going to eventually find you your trend line. So I'm going to go from the bottom here and I'm going to put it for three points of contact. So there's your three points of contact right there. And now we're going to switch it over to a week chart and see what this is looking like. So I can see zoom in just a little bit more so I can see my very first point of contact was basically an inverse head and shoulders in a sense you have your shoulder your head and then your higher low with an extended over top of this okay uh, we won't go into too many terms but this is the start of your trend line now the next time we act with this trend line double bottom off of it with a higher low with a wick buying pressure beautiful just beautiful. Now the next time we act with this trend line, same scenario. Double bottom, high or low, and it extends. So I really like the way that this trend line is set. And I can definitely expect that one day we're going to come in contact with this trend line again because it is sloping up. Unless Apple is going up and up and up forever, one day we're going to meet up with this trend line, mark my words, and I will probably buy it. Now, that is the long-term trend line. That could be 10 years from now for all I know. But 10 years from now, here is my trend line. It's going to keep going up, 
can the stock price continue going up with it that only time will tell now we have our long-term trend line now I want to see if there's any other trend lines that I like in here now I'm looking for three points of contact now I like this right here because I can see boom 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 now this is going to in a sense be a more medium term trend line <clears throat> so I can see moving right through that full candle body there is my trend line boom boom now what's also important about this uh, third point of contact right here see how it meets up with the previous high now this is your COVID drop everyone's saying oh everything dropped because of COVID nope everything drops for a reason simple supply and demand do more people want to buy than sell now right here would more people want to buy than sell right off the trend line meeting right in with the previous high are more people going to want to buy than sell you tell me we're also getting an exit of the commodity channel at the same exact time i mean what more do you want to see in something but you know what do i know um so moving right along so i have a long-term trend line now i can push i can pull this through here there is going to be a point in time when we meet with this trend line you mark my words because apple moving at this rate is not sustainable it's just not sustainable eventually we're going to consolidate sideways and meet up with this trend line now what is now are more people going to want to buy than sell off that trend line you know this day is uh, a little further ahead than what we're currently at but you know we will see when that day comes so the next thing is I want to see a short-term trend line. So now first a short-term trend line I can see right here yet four points of contact probably a fifth point of contact in there so we're gonna go to a day chart and look and see if we can set a short-term trend line so yep I mean that just looks beautiful we're gonna put a trend line through this because we can expect um, that there was a lot of buyers that were buying this trend line they made a lot of money so now you can see when we break this trend line we actually back test the bottom of it and now we're currently back testing the bottom of it again um, so this is acting as support 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 now when we're on the bottom of this any type of support when you fall when you break support you can expect it to act as resistance on the way up now it's that's not guaranteed but it's the same thing so I'm gonna zoom into this day right here are more people gonna want to buy than sell now you can see we tap this on the money I look at that this is not a bullish candle right there that is bearish as it gets that is your sellers coming off of the back test of the uptrend it's support it tries to hold full red engulfing candle right through that no coincidence at all that this was people they probably had a stop loss put in right here that stop loss got triggered boom that's your selling pressure now we test it more selling pressure now we're testing it again now this is a little bit more bullish of a look you're getting a higher low in a sense but this is a short-term trend line we will keep all three of these trend lines on there and uh, we will go more into charting Apple in the next couple videos this is going to wrap this video up i hope you uh learned something in this video and we will see you on the next one